Hello, Spear fans. I'm Ryan Carlson, and I am delighted to be joined with uh, Troy Viola, who is coming to us remotely from Texas, where he's playing in the CSBI College Summer Baseball Invitational out in Bryan, Texas. Troy, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for having me. Yeah. How's life out there? How's the tournament been? Uh, you guys got a big win uh, yesterday. So, and, and have two games coming up today. So how's, how's the experience been? Dude, it's been awesome here. Uh, other than it being hot and humid and freaking sweating my butt off, freaking it's been awesome, man. It's an awesome experience in Texas. There's awesome competition and uh, we're seeing guys that are high level arms on the mound and getting to compete with some hitters that are best in the country. So I couldn't ask for more. Yeah. What's the camaraderie been like with, course you have Ruben Ibarra a teammate from San Jose State there with you um, but you're playing with all these other guys they're regional teams but what's that been like for you it's been really cool you know having my teammate here Ruben who obviously tore it up in the first part of this last season um, we only got to have 17 games but the guy was on fire um, it's been it's been incredible just to be able to share the experience with him and um, the cool thing is we get a we got a bunch of different cultures here. You know, we got some guys from the Dominican, from Puerto Rico, um, and they're talking Spanish on the field. They're messing with us. They're trying to teach us a little Spanish. Uh, and so it's just super cool to have that environment. Um, it kind of feels like that professional environment. You know, you got a bunch of different cultures, really good guys um, all around you. And uh, you just get to play baseball, which not a lot of people are getting to play right now in, uh, in the country and even the world. So um, it's an honor. Yeah, that's one of the great things about baseball is how culturally uh, enriched the sport is. Um, so that must be a cool experience. We know Ruben, Ruben is your uh, your uh, roommate out there in the hotel. How's how's that been? You guys enjoying that? It's been good. Yeah, you know, I I, I definitely wasn't sure what I was getting myself into when I came out here. I I didn't know what to expect, and then, like I said, kind kind of knowing that I'm I'm going to be with someone that I'm I know and I'm comfortable with, and I get to obviously room with him for a week is is super cool and um we've been having a great time busting each other joking around having fun out here and just enjoying the whole experience so covid safety is one of the top priorities of the tournament it has to be yeah. at this day and age yep. um so what's that been like we we heard you guys are being tested and kind of quarantined at local hotels so how's yeah. that been different for you yeah so we're all in one hotel all the players and we had to get tested right when we got in on I believe it was June 1st and they took our temperature they did a couple different tests they did the nose swab and they did a finger prick blood test um, just to be super sure that no one had it at that time before they let everyone kind of be around each other um, as far as everyone else outside of us we cannot have any contact with outside people um, we're kind of limited to the fourth and fifth floor of the hotel. It's all rented out for us. It's all the players. No one else is really allowed up there except for the staff um, and the director of this whole thing. So, yeah, just daily temperature checks and keeping us, uh, keeping us healthy, making sure that nothing crazy is going on. We're not spreading something to the entire 80 or 90 guys that are out here. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's been taken really seriously, and they're, they're not joking about it. Um, they were telling us – it even got sent to uh, the governor of Texas to make this whole thing happen. So um, they made it super sure. They made they made sure that we knew how crazy this experience is and how special <clears throat> it is to be a part of this just because we're the only 80 or 90 guys playing in the whole country right now. So it's really cool. Yeah, exactly. I know I'm not the only one who is thrilled to have baseball back. And right. I really enjoy it the first couple of days of, of, of action and your first at bat, you got, you got drilled by, by a pitch and walked. How did that feel after being out of the game for three months? Dude, you know, you haven't seen pitching in how long I'm just hoping that I can get a barrel on, on the ball or even make contact with it after three months. And, uh, and then to just get drilled on the first at bat was like, all right, here we go. We're, we're back in it. We're back Welcome in it. Back. Oh yeah, but it was uh, it was really good, and uh, just kind of get that first at bat out of the way. Obviously, <laughs> what's up, Ruben? <laughs> and uh, and yeah, man, just enjoying the whole thing. No matter what what the outcome of my ABs or what I do on defense, just kind of soaking it all in and 
Um, and like we got to play on ESPN. So that was really, really cool. You know, we got to be on national television and play in front of a huge audience. And I just couldn't ask for more. Yeah, really yeah, that must be a special be feeling. feeling. And they talked about the draft a lot on the broadcast. Um, were there, was there an extra chip on your shoulder to perform well with, with that going on or, or maybe some extra eyes on you guys during this tournament? Uh, you know, I think it's super important to just kind of stay composed. Like, yeah, you, you obviously know you're going to be playing in front of a national audience and there's going to be a lot of eyes on you. And Ruben. There he is. He's in the frame shirtless. Sure Ruben right. Ibarra, ladies and there gentlemen. Is, everybody. Um, but obviously it's super important to just kind of, like I said, stay composed and stay comfortable and just know that you've played this game your whole life. Don't do anything differently. You know, you're here for a reason and um, you've had success in the past and that's what's gotten you here. So just continue to do what you do and um, and just let it happen all on the field. Leave it all out on the field because if you start thinking too much, you start thinking, oh, I, I need to do good today because I want to get drafted. I want the scouts to see me. That's, that's usually when things start going wrong and <clears throat> you kind of do things out of your comfort zone. There's no need for that. So, yeah, it's just, been, it's just been big and just being comfortable and doing what I do. And this was your senior season at San Jose State. Yeah. And it was cut short as, as many senior seasons were. So give us an update on that. And if you heard, if they'll give you uh, next year, next season, and, and what kind of the, the uh, update is there. Right. So I believe from what I've heard, I'm, I, I believe I get my season back. That's what I've been told from the coaches. That's the, the okay. statements the NCAA has released is that seniors from the spring seasons get their, get their year back. And so obviously I want to play as much college baseball as I can um, while it's in front of me. And so I'm going to take advantage of that. I'll be coming back to San Jose this next year. I'm super excited to be back with my teammates and all the guys that I've shared some awesome memories with in the last year and a half. Um, and so yeah, man, I'm super excited. I know my season got cut short, but I'm really happy that I'm getting it back. And, I mean, we'll see what happens after that. But I'm just going to I'm just gonna stay focused on having fun, enjoying time with my teammates that I love so much, and um, hopefully make a run for a Mountain West championship this year. we got some really good talent on our team, so <clears throat> i got high hopes. Indeed. Yeah, you guys have a lot of talent. Glad to hear that you'll be coming back for next season. Hopefully fall and spring sports are able to get underway sometime during this upcoming year uh, but you guys had a little bit of an exciting day yesterday and, and your game went to a home run derby and it was kind of a a win or go home situation so tell us tell us what that game was like yeah man so up up most of the game we we were winning I believe four to three for uh, a good amount of the game and they had a little offensive burst there and had a two-run inning Went up by one, five to four late in the game. Um, and ninth inning, we had a double off the wall score, tied the game, and couldn't get that winning run in. So because of the time stuff and all the camera people that are there, we had to get the next game going. Um, mm -hmm. They sent it straight into a home run derby to decide who the winner of the game was. Um, and we, one of the guys selected was Ruben to hit in the home run derby. And so they started – uh, he hit, I believe he hit one homer, and then we sent in one of our other guys, not Ruben. His name is Luis. He's from the Dominican Republic. He's a big man. Um, and he hit like four or five. And then their next guy came in, I think hit one or two. Um, couldn't match Luis, and we ended up not even have to use Ruben, but we knew that Ruben would take us home if we had to use him. Um, I was not worried at all. So, yeah, it was it was fun, and it was a really cool way to end that thing. And now we're on to uh, obviously day three, so we're excited. Yeah, you guys lost the first one in, in a close close Next game on a walk off. Yeah, yeah, and you guys accounted for I think you and you and Ruben accounted for five of the seven runs yeah. your team scored. Yeah, um, which is impressive. Spartans are producing out there. Represent SJSU. Love to see it, and uh, loved Ruben making a a cameo as well. Um, yeah, and so. For those who don't know, um, again, you guys will go uh, and play later today in a game five. Um, and then if you win that, you'll go to the championship game immediately following that, right? Yes, I believe okay. so. It would be the last eight game. So <clears throat> if we win the first one, on to the championship, and we'll f I'm assuming we face the team that we lost to uh, in game one. So good to get some redemption, hopefully. Totally. Well, Thank you so much for 
uh, sharing your experience with us so far. We're so glad to, uh, to have you here checking in with us and, and know you guys are being safe, having a good time out there. And for those who want to watch the two games today, you can go to the CSBI website. They have uh, the games available on pay-per-view. And uh, I think Ruben's there. I think he wants to say hello real quick to all the Spear fans. Is he there? Is he Ruben, why are you throwing a shirt first? Huh? <laughs> you don't need to see that. You don't want to see my towel? No. Maybe, maybe not on the, uh, the YouTube video. I'm sure don't. Not a shirt. My goodness. There's Ruben. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Throw your jersey on really quick or something. My jersey? No. Or pop Throw it on. Or something. Good God. Hold on. Real quick. If people want to see you. Come on. The Spartans fans would love to see you. They want to see the dynamic duo out here. Yes. The dynamic corners? <laughs> yeah, the, the dangerous corners. There he it's is, Ruben Ibarra. How are you? <laughs> Doing great, man. Good. You having a good time out there? Absolutely. You kidding me? I get to play baseball again. That's, that's, right. that's right. That's right. Well, we've sure enjoyed watching and, and keeping, keeping up with the updates uh, about you guys. And um, you're getting a lot of love from Spartan Nation. So uh, keep it up and, and have fun in the games later today and, and going for that championship. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you, Troy. Thank you, Ruben, for checking in. I know the fans will love this. And, and uh, stay tuned on the Spear for more updates uh, throughout the day. We'll be reposting and keeping as much coverage as possible. Uh, for Troy Viola, Ruben Ibarra, I'm Ryan Carlson with The Spear, and we will see you next time.